Hi, my name is Jason Dwar. I'm an applications engineer here at Merriam Process Technology. And today I'd like to cover the M200 series, specifically the M201 gas meter tester. The M201 gas meter tester looks identically to our M200 series. It has the same keypad interface. You have the on button, turn the device on, hold it a couple seconds and it'll turn on, backlight, and the same four keys that are on our M200, min-max, program, on, off, and hold. Now, what makes the M201 gas meter special is that we put in some firmware that takes the averaging across the differential port on your roots meter. Why is this important? Well, it masks out any pulsations that may occur from the roots meter if you were using a standard manometer or another digital manometer. Now you notice when I turn the meter on, it says press hold to acquire data. So to actually start the test, you press the hold button. It takes an average or acquires the data and you press the hold button again to stop the test. You also notice that we have a set of manifold valves on here. It's called our push to ring manifold. What this does is it protects the sensor from any overpressure that may occur if you were to hook it up um, without a three valve manifold or any type of protection. So when we plug in the Peaks Plugs kit into the actual meter, it's protected and isolated. Why is this important? Because our sensors do not have overrange protection uh, more than two or three times the full scale range. The roots meter is available, the roots meter tester is available in 28 inches of differential and 200 inches. Before we begin the test on the roots meter, we want to make sure that our M201 is zeroed. To actually zero the instrument, you're going to hit the min, max, and hold key at the same time. It is denoted in the center of the keypad, it says zero. The display will count down from 10 seconds and say zero in progress. And say zero complete. To verify you have zero, hit the acquire data button, press it again, you should have a good zero on your meter. Now it may flicker from one or two counts. This is a 28 inch model which has three decimal places. Now to start the test, we're gonna press the push to read manifold valve button in and press the hold button to acquire data. What this is doing is actually giving us the pressure across the roots meter tester. Now we're taking a true average, so our sensor takes 10 readings a second. Over 25 seconds, you'll be getting 250 readings. So once I hit the hold button again, we're seeing the average across the roots meter over several readings. Now why would you want to do a drop test across the roots meter? Well, a drop test is a good indication of the roots meter's performance. What you are doing is you're measuring the resistance across the differential ports to determine if there's any kind of damage, debris, dirt, uh, a worn or bent impeller. What you can do is look at previous history and see how the meter has performed by looking at the, the manufacturer's specs or previous tests that you've done. This gives you a great idea of if you need to do any maintenance, or how the meter is actually performing. Now, to actually do the test, we've inserted the root piece plugs in both the roots meter and in our M200. What this does is it makes the test go a lot smoother, it's easier to manipulate the hoses. So first I'm gonna plug in my P1 port here in the swage lock fitting, you're gonna hear a click. And I'm gonna throw my P2 port in, you're gonna hear a click your hose is straight. We're going to thread in the high side of the gas meter. Make sure you have a good tight connection. Now we're going to go to the low side and the P2 port. Make sure you have a good tight connection here once again. Now right now I'm isolated from the process so I don't have to worry about any damage. Now to do a test, what I'm going to do is actually hit my stopwatch, time it, at the same time press the valve in and hit the hold key to acquire data and monitor the roots meter to see approximately one tick on the dial uh, 
for an actual routineer test. In the field, they test at normally 25, 50, or 75 percent of the performance to get a true average of what's going on. All right, let's get the stopwatch set. Okay, we're going to hit the hold button to start the test. We're going to press the valve, manifold valve in, and then we're going to actually clock it. Now I'm waiting for one revolution here in my meter. We have lower pressure, so it's going kind of slow, but you're getting the idea of the test. Okay, release the button. This concludes the test. If you look at the display, I have a value of 0 0.038 of inches of water at 60 degrees F. 60 degrees F is the known gas industry standard for testing roots meters. Now, what I'll do is actually compare this to previous tests or my manufacturer specifications to determine if any action is necessary. I'd like to thank you for your time today. If you have any questions, please go to our website, www.miriam.com, or give us a call, 216-281-1100. Thank you.